The world's ice fortress is breaking. A sudden seismic shift in the Antarctic has begun, silent yet devastating. The unthinkable now hangs on the tide, a catastrophe that will redefine every part of the Earth. Take a look at this next report for more details. Antarctica holds 70% of Earth's fresh water. Trapped in ancient ice, enough to drown every city on the planet. Its glaciers are silent giants. Now those giants are cracking. One of its fastest shrinking glaciers, Hectoria Glacier, is collapsing at a pace that has scientists alarmed. Hectoria retreated by 8.2 kilometers. That would be nearly 10 times faster than any grounded glacier recorded before. Its ice front is retreating faster than any model predicted, pouring billions of tons of melt water into the Southern Ocean. Of course, um, the Antarctic ice sheet is, is uh, worrying because uh, if it collapses, uh, then the sea level rise would be much higher and uh, um, the impacts of uh, a much higher sea, le sea level rise up to 1.5 or, or more meters uh, would be extreme because uh, there are so many people living uh, in low-lying uh, uh, coastal areas uh, that it would have a major impact on cities, uh, on coastal cities, on uh, coastal infrastructures in general. Researchers warn this could mark the beginning of a self-reinforcing collapse. Warm ocean currents are tunneling beneath the ice shelves, eroding them from below, while surface melting cracks them from above. Once gone, they cannot grow back in human timescales. Why is West Antarctica so important is because it contains enough ice to raise sea levels by four, five, even up to six meters. Um, so it's very important to understand what happened to West Antarctica because if Antarctica collapses the next time the Earth is at plus three degrees, it will be hundreds of millions of people which will have to be displaced. The fear is simple. If Hectoria Glacier goes, others may follow. Together with nearby glaciers like Thwaites, and Pine Island, it acts as a cork in the bottle, holding back the West Antarctic ice sheet. At the same time, the United Nations Climate Report warns the planet is now very likely to exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius of warming within the next decade. The critical threshold scientists have fought to avoid. That warming accelerates melt rates exponentially. The Antarctic meltdown is no longer a slow motion disaster, it's speeding up. And if the ice keeps falling into the sea, no nation will stay untouched. The countdown to rising seas has already begun. Bureau Report, Leon, Wild is One.